What's up guys, welcome back to this 888 Live feature table review, this time with a spicy flow, so let's hop into the action. Uh, queens here for Robert, Bobby's got the Queens, he makes it 4,000. Bennett, by the way, is literally folding down, he's pulling, folding down he's to nothing. Pull, he's pulling a Will Kasuf. Yeah, I mean, go back to those fours, oh, like, yeah. I don't know what... Ludicrous fold. So Robert coming in for the two and a half times raise with the Queens. And Henry peeling the big one with the queen three. Usually I don't defend the big friend with the queen three offsuit. My defending range looks more like all king X and all suited queens. I think versus a weak opponent like Robert and from the high check it's fine. It's a two and a half X, but I definitely think we have to post buff edge. So it should be a profitable defend. I think we can say fours, folding fours on the button was probably wrong. <laughs> folding fours on the button. With 11 big blinds. Was probably the worst play of the day. Printing chips. You know, like the ace ten is a losing play, but it's a slight losing play. <laughs> okay. The fours is like passing up like an unbelievably profitable spot for like no reason at all. Oh yeah, man. Okay, so we we are gonna be properly liquored up. We got beers, and it looks like we have that some Jaeger. Bigger. Why are you giving me the bigger one? I'm, I'll take the bigger one if you want. I don't really. Care, I'm a dude. I'm a bigger man. You are. You are a bigger man. For in, many mul in multiple ways. Okay. So before I moved to the feature table, I played with Robert for around 4 hours and what I've gained from that is that he's the type of player that puts in one bet but never a second one. So I thought the queen 3 with the queen of hearts, hearts should be a profitable flat here versus him. I usually don't do this, especially not versus a good player, but we've seen an open hand for suit and all that bullshit. So if I float the flop here, I'm pretty damn sure we can bluff the river and take it down quite often since he just bets everything on the flop. Obviously I do have better hands on the flop to float with, like king queen. Queen 10, 10 8, flush draws, ace highs. So it's a pretty damn white flat, definitely. And I'm not 100% sure if it's profitable. But I do think, just given that specific opponent, we can make it. So the check on the turn is a pretty good card. I think that this type of a player would bet the turn and check back the river the 9 a decent amount of the time. And also just bet turn if he has the check, so I would just fold if he bets. But once he decides to check, I feel pretty confident about my hand and my ability to bluff him off the river. The river brings an ace and it's a really interesting card. I do think that he has a decent amount of ace-x obviously, so I'm like ace-8 that he decides to bet on the flop. And obviously if I check to him and he checks it back, we will chop it up quite often as well. So I decide to fire out a big bet here on the river, around 70% pot and hope to make him fold something like ace-10, given that I rep a check that much. What I didn't know back then, but know now, is that this guy really, really likes to call and makes the call with queens, which I think is absolutely horrible. He procs me from having king, queen, queen, eight, queen, ten, and he's just a guy that doesn't really think about poker. So you shouldn't bluff him. I got punished, lost a lot of chips, not my lesson. Yeah, I'd be better. This is gonna work. I don't know if it is. I'll give you a chance to. Uh, I, 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 I think he calls. Yeah, okay. he already called. Wow. It's Bob. I guess it's Bob. You're right, dude. It's Bob. You can't bluff Bob. Why are they trying to bluff Bob? I mean, by the way, the look at this board right out. Queens, it's good. <laughs> it's also like not a better bet. I think it's slightly. Like, I the think same thing as the pass line. No, no, I, I think pass is. I think don't the pass. Odd, the odds on the pass line. Yeah, the don't pass is probably better than than the pass line. The don't the pass odds. is like literally like two tenths of a percent better odds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we could see some uh, fireworks here. Yeah, for sure. Oh, this is a limp. Oh, we're almost certainly going to see fireworks. Oh, and there it is. Boom. Henry, what are you doing? Shringle doodle. What's he doing? Yep, there's an all in. There's a call. Man, look at this. This is a okay. big pot. He was just making sure that he was, in fact, all in with the chef. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. No, it's fine. I mean, it's not like he took 30 seconds. He took like 7 seconds. Come on, let's hold for the kid. Like this hand isn't a super crazy spot or anything, but what is important to know is that my stack size displayed is wrong. I sit on around 30 big blinds, not 40. And I really like his slim jam. He's been limping before, I raised him a couple of times with hands like 10 3 suited for example. So I think he will make a lot of money limp jam the ace check versus me. This is a play I don't expect to see too often in live poker, mostly people just limp fold or just raise a hand like ace check and then rebalance there so i think that's a really well played hand and he got just unlucky to have ace check you know i would raise him there with like so many hands like all the 10 for suits and stuff so he definitely gets more action by them jamming the ace check there and just gonna knock it i woke up with checks oh what a okay, sweat okay what a sweat ace or, a king. ace or a king 
Ace or a king, and I believe it is Henry who's all in. Okay, it Deuce is Henry is who's all in. Henry has less chips. River, drum roll. <laughs> oh, and the kid doubles up. Yep. Bueller, Bueller. The double up to 129,000. Ah, that's a big pot, man. Oh, that's huge. Can we get a hold of the baby in the chat, please? Big hand for Bulero. Man, big limp shove, dude. He limp shoved for like 38 big blinds. Yeah, blind down blind. You know what? It's just one of those situations. Nobody ever gives you know, nobody would, ever gives anybody deuce, credit. Though. 40 big blinds he, he limp shoved for. Oh, he's going to pump it. King, yeah. queen. It's a playable hand. Let's see if Bulero's going to make day two. Oh, not yet. Dominic's going to make day two. Is Snuggy going to make day two? Snuggy's going to make day two. Oh, wait a second. He can't call with a seven off suit, so it's no, a three better, a three better. Four old. And I mean, he should just fold. He shouldn't try to get tricky on the last hand of the day. It's not a very good hand. Oh, to do it. no, he's raising. Wow. I love, by the way, I love the end of day dynamic. Oh, uh, yeah, it's always funny. I used to get really caught up in it because I thought I used to think that like it's a great spot to bluff usually because everybody's always wanting to go to Yeah, bed. people are like, ah, I don't want to get knocked out the last day, the this last is, this day. Is, this is spewy no matter what. A7 off is just a really bad hand to do it with. So Mayer seems to overvalue the uh, a sex offsuit. Wait, Bobby's like, well, I haven't done anything yet. Don't touch my cards, bud. I mean, Jurgen has already folded. We don't know what Bobby has, by the way. His cards are not in the, uh, in the thing. No, we don't. Somebody should probably remind Bobby that you can't win the tournament today. You can only just move on. Right. Even if you even if you doubled up right now, you still wouldn't win. And this is the big, the last hand, Bob. So there's no sense in stalling. Look at this. Wait, are we coming in? He's going all in. And it's gonna work. Oh wow. And it's gonna work. He's I don't gonna, even care what he has. Now he's gonna take it. Do you think he's bluffing? Do you think he's bluffing? No. I don't. I, what do we think he has? Find out though. Give me the hand. Probably two tens or two jacks, two queens. Ace king. Ace queen suited? Potentially. Wow. Look at this play by Bobby. I I, I wish he had a bluff. What's the point in Hollywood? Yeah, I know. You're not folding. You're not going to call. They're never calling, I mean, ever. you're not going to be playing on the same table tomorrow. There's right. no reason to set up a dynamic. There's also, by the way, there's also a... Put your cards in the muck already. Just fold, dude. There's also... It's a live stream. Anybody can just check and see that you had a seven. Oh, my goodness. It's we have to know what Bobby 245. has. 2:45. Let it go, Bobby. Come on. I liked you, man. I actually already know that we are not going to find out what Bobby has. No, are you kidding me? How do you know that? They, they, they sent been, you. I've been told. Yeah. Oh, that's that's awful. Yeah. Oh. He does end up showing, and he just snap mucks it into the muck. It goes. I wonder why you didn't want to show the last hand. Final hand of the day, obviously an interesting dynamic. The guy that opens just got moved to the table, so I don't know too much about him. I think Snowman's are standard flat here. Obviously Maya is like the type of guy, we saw him with the ace this earlier, at this point I was so sure that he was bluffing, he obviously will run to ace sometimes, but I was ready to fall that jam that shit versus him and I was really happy about it actually, like I thought if all, like I was sitting there and then I saw the squeeze and I was like okay, probably just folding ace and I was like no, what the fuck, who am I, who am I playing against, and I was ready to jam that stuff in there and got like a really good stack because he squeezes up to like almost 20k with the money in the pot already, it would be a good stack for day 2. Obviously once again my stack size is wrong here, I had around 90k at that time because I ended the day on 85k since the big blind champs and I have to fold my hand. We can only guess what he had in the spot, apparently Maya, I met him the next day and he met the guy later and he's, or I met him two days later and he met the guy and he said that he had queens in the end. We can only believe that, obviously I cannot call his jam, he hasn't been that crazy that he would pull off like a crazy bluff here. So yeah, I just had to mark the pocket 8s, even though I was so ready to fall that jam, and it was a fine hand, it was a fun trip guys. We made day 2, as we saw in the vlog yesterday, but couldn't cash it in the end. So it was a good trip, it was an interesting hand, it was not a feature table, it was good times for sure. So I hope you enjoyed the hands, not like the most crazy hands you to end this to end the series, but I still hope you enjoyed it. So if you enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to press the like button, helps me out, and I'll be sub, we have daily videos here, and yeah, I'll catch you next time, enjoy the rest of your days, and good luck at the tables, peace out.